times and we are on the road because we have an eight hour journey road trip down to leave a comment down below if you have any guesses did you guys guess it if you guess Cornwall guys you're right so we were going to the very bottom of the country to land and we're staying in a haven which we haven't done a haven in a long long time we've had a few of you guys asking when we're next haven vlog's gonna be and we're all very excited Caleb is fast asleep the children are in the back Khaleesi is fast asleep as well Dion and Sean are on their devices and it is raining guys look at this weather We are coming through uh, Yorkshire and the, the rain was horrendous. We've been on the road for about, how long have we been on the road for now, Steph? Did you say? About two hours. Two hours, yeah. Two hours, yeah. We stopped at that service station before. Yeah, stopped at the service station. Um, didn't grab a coffee or anything like that, guys, because we actually have our own coffee in this flask. So we've never actually been to Cornwall and I've heard that the coves down there are absolutely breathtaking. So I'm really excited to go and explore the little beaches as well, the little beach towns, grab some ice cream if the weather's nice. Fingers crossed guys, have your fingers crossed for us and hope that the weather's going to be it nice. Is, it is forecast to be nice. Um, we are going down for six days as well. Six days guys. Um, but it's got some of the best rated beaches in the whole of the UK. Um, the water down there is just like a turquoise blue. But yeah, we've got loads planned. So if you are new guys, hit the subscribe button and give this video a big like and then we will probably catch you guys up when we're at our holiday park. So, five hours later and we are currently in West Supermere, which we've actually been here before. It was in October. Brings back so many good memories. But we've stopped at a Tesco fueling station because we need to top up on fuel. Um, this takes about £120 in fuel. So we've just pulled over at the Tesco. We just quickly went in to go to toilets and also I need to buy some headphones so I can edit. Because it's been pouring down the rain and I can't hear anything we're saying. So anyways, I bought some headphones so I can edit in the van while Sean's driving because it's a long drive, why not do something useful rather than just sit there. Um, but, but Sean's just made us a sausage sandwich for breakfast. It's currently half eight now. Yeah, we got some sausages from Tesco. It's a big New York style sausage. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to have a breakfast guys and then we'll get back on the road. I think we've got two and a half hours left. Yeah, about two forty. Yeah, two and a half hours left. So check-in time is between 11 and 12. guys we have arrived at the haven site that we're staying at for the next week and um, we've put the tents up and we've got a Khaleesi change because it is boiling here yeah, so warm it is absolutely gorgeous and so the kids have just gotten back from the park and we've got all the chairs out the children's chairs set up tents up and um, we've got Khaleesi's blanket put out with some ties on there for her to play with so the plans are because we've driven eight hours, we're just going to stay on site today and uh, we're not going to go exploring like anything that's Wait, local. I, yeah, I think it needs to charge Logan. Uh, we're going to like explore the grounds so though, we'll have a little walk around where we walk to the beach. The beach is just literally on my doorstep guys, I'll turn you around and show you. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see but there's the beach, literally on my doorstep. Yeah. Did you get to have fun at the park? Yes. Yeah, now it's on your doorstep. I've rolled up that sand. Oh, the park is like a sand park. Is it? Yeah. Khaleesi is currently teething yeah, at the I'm moment so as well. Bad. So she's in a little bit yeah. of a grump. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of pain. Bless her.
basically I'm going to be reading The Unhoneymooners because I'm on holiday. It's summary, very fitting. And this, I think this is Enemies to Lovers, I think. Um, this is only £2 from Amazon as well. Yeah. And how many books you read so far this year? 22, I think. 22. And that's just with the ones that you've been buying with your pocket money as well? Yeah. Well, Sean is currently at the Shores and the children are having a bad crisps and I say we just like to play a game because we like to play games around the, the campsite and we've been sent this new game called Hide the Slug and it's basically a card game where you have to like bluff your way through and the winner is the one who gets rid of all their cards so it's a small little company I will leave the link down below guys if you want to go and check them out we are always on the lookout for new family games especially ones that you learn while you play as well just to tie in with homeschooling so if you have any suggestions leave a comment down below and let us know guys just been in the shower, got myself all put together, uh, I've got the tent all set up there, just going to head off now to the entertainment area and to the grounds and go and see what the place has to offer. A little bit windy today isn't it Steffi? Yeah? It's still yeah. cold though is it? No it's not is it? No. We've got like all the motorhomes and things here, plenty of pictures, this is a, this is a huge site and then You've got like the safari tents here. They're actually putting up a few more as well. They they call them super tents. And then, then these ones, you've got like the bell tents as well. So yeah, there's loads of places to choose from. You don't have to stay in the caravan if you wanted something a little bit different. big mind and we can see the complex from here so it's like a five minute walk from the camping they also do surfing school as well so they do surfing lessons here you don't actually have to come and stay here to do surfing lessons it's open to the public but it's 30 pound per person so we're just walking through all the caravan sales and then just around the corner we have the entertainment so we've got the trampolines here papa john's restaurant bar activity then we've got the mini market there you've got cooked fish and chips You've got a sports court there, and then this is where you go for all your activities. We've got a swimming pool here with an outdoor slide as well. We were going to book it today, but it's fully booked for the next two days, so we've booked it for Friday. Also, where we're staying, we've got our own little ice cream van that comes around. Did you see the ice cream van? Yeah. I did. yeah. So the ice cream man that comes around the little campsite, which I think is such a good idea. First time I've ever seen that out of heaven as well. Yeah, first time first I've time. ever seen it. Yeah. Um, but I think that's probably the walk to the beach. I know you can get to the beach okay. several ways you can. Have you mentioned the safari huts that you went out here? I've showed sure yeah, them. Yeah, they're doing safari huts as well. I've never seen that before at any of the havens we've ever visited. No. Bear in mind guys, the furthest haven from Newcastle. That I've ever been to. I think it's the furthest one on the map to be honest with you from north. Yeah I think it is. Yeah if you're yeah. coming from like up north it's the furthest one on the map that you can take like the, the caravan to or camp in. Do they do camping as this touring? No so no tents. No it tents. can be a trailer tent or it can be like rooftop tents. Yeah um, as long as you've got a motorhome I suppose um, we get away with both worlds don't we? Yeah. Motorhome and tents we can kind of get away with whichever but um, it is one of the furthest ones from Newcastle that we've ever been to. I think it was like eight I was in 40 minutes drive, yeah, which was like drag, pretty yeah. much all night drive guys and we did break it up with a lot of rest as well didn't we but so far I'm really impressed, I love the palm trees that they've got, it reminds me of the orchards that we were at the it orchards It does yeah, I'm getting orchard vibes yeah, definitely Yeah, which is another haven that we stayed at over in Essex um, last year 
um, we've had a really good pool as well. If you're interested in any more Haven holidays, check out our Haven playlist. We've got loads of Lord Haven holidays. Yeah. Well, these are some of the activities that you've got on. You've got adventure golf, mini sports, bike hire, bungee, surfing, make a bed, den building, um, seaside slime, pack and paint pottery, Segway. Yeah. Nature trail. You guys go and hit the park up. We've came to a viewing point that they've recommended. Um, so we're going to go see what this viewing point's all about. So it must be pretty good. It is very windy. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. But we do have a barbecue date set for the beach down that we can get access to. So we're all looking forward to that. But we're going to go on a day that isn't as windy as it is today. Um, it's forecasted for some really good weather as well here in Cornwall. So we seem to get lucky with some weather all the time, don't we? Really lucky. For gold, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. Yeah. It felt like it never stopped and I feel like it's a lot later than it actually is. I feel like I've got, what's it? Jet lag. Jet lag. Yeah, I feel like I've got jet lag. <laughs> This is a soft play here. Yeah, it looks like quite a big soft play, doesn't it, Dion? Yeah. It's time to give the, the children the money. So, Dad, how much are you thinking about giving them this time? Oh, I don't know. Are there done enough jobs around the house? Yeah. You guys think? Have you? Let's have a look. Flipping tens. We've got loads of tens up the machine over there. We've got a lot of money. It's all tens. <laughs> so, if all being tens, it's going to be £10 each. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's shocked. <laughs> okay, short £10 for you. Thank you. £10 for Kayla. £10 for Dion. Thank you. £10 for Logan. And an extra £5 for you, Dion, to get £5 back. Because everybody else got V Bucks on Fortnite the other day. So Dion didn't get anything, so we'll give Dion an extra £5. You're welcome, guys. Big hug. Have fun guys, have fun. That's what it's all about. Say Dada, where's mine? Oh well, can where's you my see? Dada? A hundred pounds each. <laughs> say, just give me some milk and I'm happy. You think? She will, she will eat it. Oh, can, I will eat that. Yeah, I don't know what, what's what. So this is the gift shop here, but next door is actually like the swap shop. I want these, I'll probably use these in these. So this is the shop, they've got like um, wetsuits and aqua shoes and everything which is really good because they do serve school here. I'm just going to give you a quick little turn around. They're marbles Caleb. You ask this all the time. Every time we come to a shop you always ask what are these. You play games you can with them. That'll probably know more about marbles than I do, but I used to love getting things like this that I could actually do when I was on holiday. You having fun there, Sean? Yes. Help me. Help me. Yeah, Logan, I'll help you in a second, darling. Sean, just do this. Pokemon. You know Pokemon took a long time, isn't it? No, it's not. That's a different one. I think it looks like a tangler. Oh, tangler, yeah. <laughs> so there is lots of ties for the children, as you can see. And then there's their merch as well of all the characters at Haven. Look at that. It's actually press a button. 
How much is it? I think it would. <laughs> I think it's it would 20. mean more if you actually go from Scotland. Yeah, I agree too. Yeah. Like, I know. Maybe the next time we'll go back up to Scotland, we right. might have some. So we've just finished up at the shops. What on earth have you got yourself? Well, little do you know, Cornwall is the inventor of cider. Right? So cider was originally created here in Cornwall. Okay. Right? So I'd say to pick myself some scrumpy cider <laughs> right. there is a farm nearby where you can go and watch them create all the ciders and stuff all right as soon as i seen this leaflet i went on this scavenge hunt for cornwall's best cider so i've got some of the cornish gold right original cornish cider yeah and then i went for the scrumpy i've already had a cheeky little drink of this but yeah. like, so you might expect to say that it tastes like a little bit fizzy yeah. Seriously guys, this is so good. The way you drink it as well. It's like apple juice from the fridge, but with a good cider taste, like an alcoholic cider taste. But it's got no fizz to it, it's no hop in the back of the This is the best cider I've ever had in my life. Seriously. I like to know about the Cornish Gold in a moment. Let me have a little taste then. So Stephanie doesn't usually drink, but she's going to have a little taste list. A little taste, I'm not drinking. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me if it's not apple juice at its best. Ah, it's been a while. <laughs> what do you think though? Uh, I don't like it. Oh, you're not a cider fan, are you? No, I love cider. Well, I used to love cider. It's been like two years since I've had cider. But, but it's got no fizz. Like it. I love it, it's got no fizz. Right, that's the strong one. Let's try the Cornish Gold, okay? Okay, mum, a true Cornish Gold. So that bottle said you have to consume it within three days. So that's how fresh it is, guys. And how much is that bottle? Um, that was four pounds or something. Um, and this one was like three pounds. So that, would you say that's expensive? Oh yeah, for a cider it's pretty expensive. I mean you can get like four or something, can't you, for that price, but let's see if it's any different. That I'm loving that one. It's got a bit of fist trying to see the fist. Come fizz but not too much fizz. Definitely recommend that one as well. Which one's but your favourite? I prefer that one more. Do you? Because that goes down nicer than that one does. Okay, let's have a taste. Okay, so that means on the drink. <laughs> right, moment of truth, Cornish Gold. Or Scrumpy. I think I might like that one for that. A Cornish Gold? It's more sweeter. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm a Scrumpy fan, I'm, I'm liking this one better. I love the fact that it actually says like consume within three days. So you can guarantee that that's like absolutely fresh cider. Yeah. Go it would rot, wouldn't it? Yeah, it rot. I mean, look, come on. I know, like look at that bottle man, you don't get that anywhere else do you? So this is the farm that you can visit, it's family friendly, um, no to four go free, so under fours go free. They have all sorts of different things available here. Um, so this is a traditional Cornish dessert here, which Stephanie is very eager to check out. Um, and then there's yeah, a map of the whole area. I have heard of um, Ratlas, um, I've not tried it, they do do gin as well at the distillery, so that's another thing you can go and visit. You cannot come to Cornwall guys and not try out their local liquor. Honestly, I love visiting places that like have their own booze, like like signature to the area, like Scotland for example, their whiskies and stuff. And obviously Cornwall, south west of England, they love their cider. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what we bought from the shops. We've got like little seating areas here outside the shops and it's such a lovely day. We bought like we create a little picnic. So we went for some Chris, some baby bells, some cheese strings, some Swedish meatballs, and then for dessert, some ice cream. So 
we're back from the entertainment and things like that. We had fun playing bingo and now we're back at the camper van. Khaleesi is just went down to sleep. I think I'm gonna go in the shower after having some tea. And we're having a chicken curry for tonight's tea, um, which I'm looking forward to. It has been a fantastic first day. If the weather keeps up like this all week, honestly, that'll be the best like holiday of this year <laughs> for weather wise. <laughs> I love Cornwall. Honestly, you got a variety of people who visit like the Haven Park. I just think it's just nice to like be around different people, like people from different places, you know, like that yeah, different accents. Yeah, people from different areas. I mean, I've talked to so many different people this evening. Well, I don't know about, but I'll probably say it was seven, eight people. And it's been so interesting, like, exchanging conversations, where you've came from and, you know, how long you've been here for and stuff like that. And it's just so nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I find yeah. interesting, anyways. But, yeah, we're going to get tonight's food on the go, guys, and we'll catch you up in just a little. And we're all sitting down and having a beautiful chicken curry, guys. It's just the best. Check us out. Mm. So good. We have um, cooked our rice. We had naan bread. We've had some papa dons. Just the best. I'm also finishing off a glass of wine. Courtesy of Stephanie. Thank you so much. Um, you bought me two of these bottles. These two bottles. And they are two for £12 from Tesco. Believe it or not. But well, just the best. I love chili Argentinian um, Malabec. I can't drink Malabec from many other places but except it's gonna be it's gonna be South American. It's gonna be South American. I don't know why. It just it just agrees it is, but yeah, I'm like enjoying it so much. And as you guys know, I've also been drinking the Cornish cider today. So I might be a little bit worse for wear, but who knows? <laughs> but I'm actually enjoying myself, guys. I love Cornwall so far. It's been such a great place to visit, and the things I've got on our map for me, Stephanie, and the kids to go and visit. Wow. It's gonna blow the kids' mind. Mm. Mama, mm. the cinnamon food are lovely. Yeah, and they're my it, favorite food. Is it? Yeah. It smells so good, by the way. And it makes a good change to stay on the site to doing a bit of wild camping because you do have endless amounts of electricity, hot water, showers, and plenty more other facilities. So, Bay fam, we are going to end the vlog here. Remember. Give it a thumbs up. Yep. Subscribe. What's up? Subscribe if you are new. And we will see you in the next video for tomorrow's adventure. Are you looking mm. forward to tomorrow? Yeah. You having a good holiday so far? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Right, say good night. Good night. Good night, guys.